good evening to you. How are you guys doing? Kwanza, first things first. Do you have a Valentine? Kama una, as Kamila Semanga Kana. Anyway, welcome to Entertainment News. I'm right here on White Pepper TV, your favorite youth channel. My name is Philine. You can find me at Philine Jean across all social media pages. Now, today we're just going to talk about entertainment news that has been trending uh, now in Kenya and beyond. Sisi ni wadaku, so we're all about that. And of course, I don't do these alone. I have my own panel. Now, before I introduce them to you, make sure you get on the hashtag YTF for updates. Now, I'm going to start with the Sassy <laughs> JC. That's what we call her right here on set. Na memo kuni copy. I don't even know what's going on. Ni priva ni mtainama ndo kama kwa trao kaya angu. Ndiyo kesho tusivai red. Juhu atuna dek. Hey, what's up? I'm good, I'm good. So guys, kama kawaida, it's another new week. Um, see, see, talk it to up. We have yeah. so much in store for you. That's correct. Yeah. And we have our Italian <laughs> queen. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Hi, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> I miss you guys. Thank you so much for joining us. We have Udaku Moto lined up for you. Burner. Don't touch that dial. Burner. That's what's up. <laughs> and we have a first timer on set. Her name is Christine. What's up? How are you doing? Um, Christine Nina. Mm -hmm. Very new year. Mm -hmm. Udaku, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, Christina <laughs> Valentine and Pierre Starfuti because I know that she doesn't maintain. Yeah. Asha jitoa, so boy child, napo, eh, chese, chese ni chini, ya masema atafuti, hana lakini atafuti. Unawana ni kama wameenda men's conference. Oh, wameenda men's conference, wame echa dena. Kuna kusema, jame taa kusema mini mebaki kwa nini? Why here, you tell us. Kuna kusema kwa nini mebaki. Why here, you tell us, you tell us. Iko hivi, you know, at you tell us. Oh, sorry, sasa turuti. Mine across all social media platforms. Niko hapa kwa sababu the VIP does not go before the event. Oh, right. Okay. Wow. Good one. That's a good one. Now, guys, the hashtag is white for updates. Talk to us. And if time allows it, as always, we're going to sample some of your comments and tweets. And on to our first story. Now, a young boy in Enugu Estate in Nigeria went viral online following his refusal to attend classes even after his father paid his school fees now however the primary school uh, the primary school people didn't quite escape schooling as his classmates weren't about to fold their arms and let him throw away his future now the photos were shared on Facebook where the boy was seen being accompanied to school by his friends all right, so <laughs> this guy, you know, like, you, you, you know how you, you wake up one day, okay, I never did that. Well, I could do, my dad was a soldier, but here's the thing. Like, there are some kids who will wake up and then you're like, Missy and Dish will lend me a chaksoma. These kids were like, your father just paid school fees. It doesn't work that way. When they dragged him back to school. Force. Yeah, by force, by fire, lazima, usome. Were they right to do that? Yes. <laughs> yes, it seems that uh, the parents are unable to to to, con to take control yeah the, it, he's a boy yeah he's, course, a, he's a boy yeah. so we get to mm -hmm. should include this in the men's conference mm -hmm. empower your younger uh the upcoming the growing men our boys yeah muhimu sana one ni the head of the family right. So, eh, si oh, mambo so tuna kusema ati, mnaenda uko kusema ati, oh, sijui, eh, sijui, oh, how to handle the relationships. No. Have any lessons za how mna bring up our watu wenye wako nyuma yenyu? Mna yeah. wanyesha nini? Yeah, so, but, but the, the kids were so good. Wako poa, awa nafaa kuwa motivational yeah, speakers. Them. Yeah. <laughs> Their future. All right, mm. so, Junil, yes. who <laughs> ngefani aje? Unaachena maisha ni yake, story yake, or what have, what, what would you do? I commend the kids, they mm. care about each other. Well, awa napendana. Unlike, ukikombia huku, kuna huu mtu ipasi. Ule mdogo. Mdogo mjua na hiyo mimi. Ule chosa hiyo exactly. You know? And then, and then, saka mani yeye keja shule mnacha ache. Hii naoneshe pia ni venye Kenya na Nigeria. I think those kids, those kids care more for each other. Na hiyo nugu state na kwa wana maneno. Si last time a groom aliacha wa bibi juu kuchatu na hiyo. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I commend the kids. They're uh, big up. <laughs> Wame change life. I'm say up. Yeah. I'm going to be someone someone not when you hang a make it in life. But the fact that I'm a drug your back to school, 
I commendable, commendable. Commendable. Yeah. Commendable. Yes. Christine, it's the room you Okay. To be honest, mm -hmm. me and understand a coca boy. We should pick up from three. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But you were very much as if I was I said at least now, um, particular level up to Kiasi from mm -hmm. three. I love me and Biwa like some my books are Kwanzia from one, two, three. I love you to know Fanya Kwa, let's say more cup or my primo cup. Yeah, Mazi, you know, see up and attach with it. But then again, up and wanna say, Uno Lizua, Bogiako Nigani. Oh, my friends, yes, and I'll tell you who you are. I'll only mend there from Biapana. Kuna when you touch a chew, I'll come when you touch a tie, Bebua. Eh, I'll own option. Let's give me my bestie, Zakuna. Because of course, at a can you must do a summer now, and I see my bestie, Zakuanzi, should be like an hour. So I think. So those are true friends. I decide I'm going to be busy. Like, because when I zaka if I had a job, when I feel I am in a hurry, but your friends will be like, wake up. Yeah. All the time. All right. Yeah. Mongies, you agree with her? I'm a you all about no, 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 no. If I were that boy, my life, my decision. If I were that boy, he or Siku, I no longer have friends. Now that we are cut off, we no longer cutting off toxic people. Ndio hawa. Watu wa attack you endele na maisha. Wakati kenya watoto wengine wana endele na kukuwa my evangelist. Mimi naanza kufikiria vitu naanza fanya na maisha angu. Watoto wenzangu. Ambao, tunateseka pamoja. Badala waniwache niende. Labda ndakuja kuwatawa kwa hiyo shida. Wala kubati. You know, but probably yeah. maybe this student is a is bright. Always do kuzi. Ona zote. Nana shukuyo kitu sana. Nana shukuyo kitu sana. Umta yali kuwa chopi. Na wali muende asi juu kitu ingine. Ota kuwa na ibia. Class now. Ota kuwa na ibia. 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 When you're like maybe June do chopi, I love Molly Molly. This one ingu mo. I come to Aladua. I did June. I June. I wa umpala. Eh, like this time, check the police. I'm like, what's that? June. I June. Maybe. That's why maybe he's like that. Maybe he's the savior of the class. All right. Now the hashtag is watch for updates. Talk to us. Would you? Would you commend him? Do you commend the friends? Ache Shule. Ama they were just right to drag him back to school. Now on to our second story. Now on Wednesday, twelve. The ODM leader and former Prime Minister Raila Odinga chanted the word Joey at the burial of former President Daniel Arap Moy, and most Kenyans had no idea what it meant. Now, after that, Kenyans online started claiming that it had a link to Joseph Irungu, alias Joey, who is accused in the murder of businesswoman Monica Kimani. And just a day later, Joey's bail hearing took place, and he was granted a three million bond with an alternative of two million. On Kenya shillings cash bail. It is, however, claimed that Joey is a lure word for a buffalo that is used by members of a community to mourn the passing of a fierce warrior or a respected member of their society. We have a video, let's check it out. <laughs> There you have it. Now, after this video, like right after um, Honorable Riley spoke, Kenyans took to social media and they were like, yo, you know what? Maybe it's time for Joey to come out. And then just a day later, it was actually announced. Uh, they gave him the, the bail hearing uh, was set for Thursday, that is today, and everything just went as planned. So, guys, uh, guys are like, is Baba a prophet? Aliona. I was going on. What was going on? Because some people were actually uh, tweeting about it yesterday. Because I was just kidding. We were just kidding. And then it happened. So, JC, mm -hmm. Baba the Prophet. Tell yeah. me what is happening. You know, at some point, uh, we, don't, we don't have to repute the fact that these older guys wana kuanga na something. Unajua? It's like the way, maybe your mom will tell you, wewe, usifanya hivi. No, but the Apo, thing is, that doesn't actually mean, it, it has nothing in relation. Exactly. Joey but it's just, like just a, a coincidence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then again, Kenyans tunawajua tu. Mm -hmm. Tuta take all over 
tuira tutafanya nini <laughs> tuseme yeah. baba hata ni yako na connection juu ya metoka you know people yeah, will do yeah, that exactly. this, this yeah. is kenya yeah. but by the way one thing i'm happy for <laughs> We Joey yes. the handsome eh yeah. <laughs> he's, he's back he's taken when you were like that Joey na vile ametoka pale kwa sida kila pale ni sawa tu lakini good thing is hapa na nini si wa Jackie Maribe we uliona vile akitoka hapo ametoka na nani ni lens you should know lens kama uzo atavuta hiyo video unajua kuna lens okay so one right it's a coincidence yenye may happen at the right time Yeah. Na pia ikakuwa pia amerelizwa. Tu silikuwa it happened to eventually. Right. So, yeah. Why is it not one half? Alright. So, I'm doing it. Yes. I'm happy. Yeah, hey. I'm happy the man hey. is out. Come down. Come down. Come down. I just told you guys it's taken. I'm on. It doesn't matter. Akiwa kwa barabara ni wa uma. Right? Ni uma ni wa public. Yes. Now, uh, one thing I commend uh, honorable Raila mm -hmm. for what he did. Uh, I think people uh, in power Okay, come down. Okay. Yeah. Time to in, yeah. He might have mentioned the name Joey probably to mean the buffalo probably the Luo language. Yeah. But uh, either way, okay. it influenced per se the bail hearing of this guy. He's been in yeah. jail. He's not yet been proven innocent. Oh, uh, sorry guilty. rather guilty yeah. Yeah. yeah a whole year down the line and yet they were convicted with the other lady yeah. it's not fair mm -hmm. so i'm so happy he's out well he's a meal you know no, but uh, yes mm -hmm. i'm happy and uh, i also i'm happy the fact that uh, some leaders are using probably the power the platform that they have eh, to help society guys in society because we bila bila you know who ni mtu wa kawaida by the bila mtu akona to where the uko juu exactly yeah. i is it i'm happy Hi. welcome back yeah. 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 all right come down oh, <laughs> we're just like yay he's out he's hot are you are you sharing the same sentiments are you not really <laughs> <laughs> not really of course i'm going to andani but tumekuwa na kina hawa nje just to make him feel good <laughs> But anyway, on this one I don't have much to say. I'll just say when you are wow, usema tu when baba says you're pregnant, buy diapers. <laughs> don't have to go for testing, just buy diapers. Yeah. All right, Dennis. Kuna kitu nanisumbua. You have said that Sijuyo at he said Sijuyo he has an influence which influence? Oh, trust me. Let me tell you one thing, eh? Uh, let me tell you one thing. It's just a coincidence that Jana he decided to use that phrase, Joey, Joey, Joey. But then the bell hearing or whatever was supposed to happen today did not have any connection to yesterday at the same time lisemo lolipo na kama halipo basi laja na maanisha hivi kama mnasema baba yuko basi yako kama mnasema atakuja kuingililia ataingililia kama mnasema hayuko hayuko mimi hiyo sitaingililia kabisa it was a court hearing and the other one was a burial ceremony hizo vitu hazina relationship the court was a Tupe tu another day. Sasa unataka kusema kwa sababu alita Joji na Jana ndo walikumbuka kwa na Joji Jen. So I am happy you out. I am happy agree or no it doesn't matter. The guys at home much. The guys at home much. The hashtag is white for updates talk to us and like always we're going to sample some of your comments if time allows it. Right about now we're going to take a very yeah, you see this tiny very small break and we are coming right back. Stay with us. Y254 Imagine Welcome back. Thank you so much for staying with us. The hashtag is White Fair for updates at Feeling Jean and of course at White Fair for channel. Now let's go to our next story. Now Nicholas Ari Neitwe and his wife got married recently in a simple ceremony and unlike other grooms, he chose to return to work after saying his vows. Now the lovely couple told mywedding.ug they walked down the aisle in October of 2019 and it was the best day day of their lives. It is said that Nicholas, who is a visual artist, did not want to waste time, so he got on a motorbike and went back to work right after he kissed the bride. His 28-year-old wife headed home to entertain her guests, but the groom joined la them later in the day. My question is, isn't the Vitus Nandis case on this conference? What? 
Wow, he really Why would you go reindeer. to work on your wedding day? Oh, Dennis, I'm gonna start with you. Like, huh? Nini and Alea, on your wedding day. You know, a wedding, a wedding is something like any other. <laughs> you would comfortably do, in it, what you want to do, suit, fanya makeup, and a rusi, and who kiss the bride, and I'm cut a cake. After that, what you are going to do, and that time, here, hapo katikati, who is Msani? He did his work properly. Alienda akafanya visual artist yake vizuri akamwambia bibi mzee anakuja jioni. Na walikuja jioni wakati watu wale. It is very normal. That's a very normal household. After kissing. Kanisani. Si ndio? Mimi uniacha tukakula mchele. Wewe oh. wewe. Like, Kuni wewe. So, ngoja. So ngoja. So now what, his wife. What was was, she stuck watu wa kwenu what you are crow, my best. Like that is over. Mimi, me, Bibi, na buana, Cindy. Yeah. Na neti yangu. That is your day. What like was wow. one day? <laughs> One day, one essence, day like this. Essence yeye story yote ilikuwa gani? Tutoke kwa mlango ya kanisa tutembea hadi pale mbele tuvalishane pete. Hiyo story isha. Hii shughuli nyingine after that. Hii shughuli ya mama. Hiyo ni inaenda waende pande hiyo akafanya. Ah, pana. Mwanaume ameamua kwamba hiyo siku ataku spoil na harusi mahali itaishi hivi enda shughuli yake akuje. Haiko imeisha. Sasa harusi inaishia mahali alivalishwa ring na akaambua kiss the bride. Hiyo imeisha hiyo. No. Yes. This man's covenant friends must be stopped. Ladies. Actually let us end. We have friends. to stop <laughs> them. Tena <laughs> kuharibu <laughs> watu. All right, all right. Yeah. Um to be honest, hasul muhimu sawa. Lakini you don't have five wedding days in your life. You only have one. Yeah. Sawa Dennis? You only have one with the same person. One. Mm-hmm. Wacha na divorce. Wedding kama ni mimi na nyoa na once. So siku una tunaoana lazima ujipende. Lazima ujipende. You don't have many. So ama walikuwa wanalipa bill hiyo siku, walikuwa na hepa bill. Because <laughs> maybe unajua unaweza hepa. Ukisikia tunaenda reception na unalipa maybe. But to be honest, okay sawa. According to you, maybe I feel I'll find a way to innovate, but honestly, I make sense. Italian queen. Yes. Yes. You are left on the altar to search yourself. Bro, oh, you cannot do me. You cannot do me like you that. You are the queen, eh? Hey, how now? We are not going to change. So, by the way, hey, you are not pull up. Come by you. Allah put you in an agile that you are not going My friend, you will walk back to your place. <laughs> Go back to it work. doesn't work like that. <laughs> that is someone. Day, uh-huh. That is someone who is very much capable of leaving you while pregnant on the floor. Ana kuacha na natoka na naenda. Like one him say sugar. Like very self-centered. As yeah. much as he's hustling, I mean you had all the other days aside from this particular day. Come yeah. on, the deadline. Trust me, clients will understand. It they will. Day, yeah. So that was very wrong. Unacceptable mm. to the kingdom of yeah. Junio Biatora. Unacceptable. Mimi swali langu ni moja tu. Nataka kuuliza. Did they just wake up that morning na waka decide tunaenda kufanya harusi? So ikakuwa maybe kuna biz nilikuwa deal nipige ya milioni tano. I have to go back after I've kissed you to kamaliza no. Sindio? There is a long process ya ku start from the AG. Sindio? Ndio mpaka mpewe wedding date kanisa. So hiyo siku tu ndio uliona kabisa kabisa. Na anajua Asha yamka akaenda barioli ya Ra, mama ya rafiki yake wakashinda huko wakatoka hapo wakaenda party after party <laughs> yes. lakini siku yangu ya harusi kwa ni hudu guy hao wanaume kwani wanapatanga wasichana wa gani mimi <laughs> nikwambie the lady understands the lady understands huyo mzee alienda kumtafutia alienda kumtafutia hiyo type kuna mahali kwanza kuna mahali ata ata shishi accommodate kuna mahali kuna mahali nataka filina rudia alisema the lady went home to entertain the guests hiyo ndio kazi yake tafadhali Okay, I don't. Uh, uh, the hashtag is white paper. Oh, <laughs> 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 is gonna be 
Nani mudia valentine. So, and you don't want to spoil that. So I'm just going to go to the next story. Now, 26 years ago, Edward Mwangi walked out on his home in Gikandu village in Muranga after picking a quarrel with his wife. Now, he made a stopover in Nairobi where he worked for three years before a woman who owned the property where he acquired a house to live in offered him a job to in a farm in Nakuru. Now, he has lived there for 26 years until recently when he decided to reunite with his family. The story has, however, gone viral on social media with most men claiming that he has to be one of the speakers at the men's conference. Exactly. <laughs> we are gonna, we're not going to hear the end of this men's conference. All right, so Jesse, I go to and went for 26 years. Yes. And the wow, and, mm, wow. Mm. like I'm a rudy. Actually, I'm a rudy. I'm a rudy. Like, what will him changio come on? Come to home because he's now older, like, way older. Oh, so they're like, yeah. Akisha, she bapeke, and he's a hustle now. A toy, a rudy. See, you're a cat. I'm 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 a Ilikuwa how people are abandoning their parents. Sindio? Ati kuna wase wanakata 10 years kama wajona wazazi wawo. Surely, mzazi kama uni mtuwa kuenda kumuona. Un, did you know, for those 26 years nimekula nini? Ata kuna sibling mungine yotu walikuja mwenye si wako, probably on the way. Mm -hmm. And then you expect when you come back, ni, okay, mimi si dream, I think ni mimi mbaya. Ni kuwa accommodate. Mimi, okay, wa unaza mwa accommodate. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I <laughs> okay. Wait, but it's so bad. We are turning the men's conference. We are talking about walk out on their wives, watch out to all and the end. Uko, Ukisha Zeka, Buddha Zidi home. Sindio, which I knew and pack up there. Rude in the Sindio. By the way, Akuje, not acceptable. I support her 110%. Mm -hmm. You don't do that. As a man, I think a man is productive. In in his uh, youth years, eh? Yeah. Bado akiwa na nguvu. Sasa huyu anenda kusaidia na nikiro safi. <laughs> much as uh, it's written, <laughs> blessing na mzazi. I think for him he has failed. Yeah. yeah. First of all. Yeah. Secondly, if the kids reject him, I don't think there is a problem to that. Okay, I don't support that, but... Siyo ni kukia na shida. I mean, he doesn't know what you ate, what you drank. Mulilishwa, mulisoma, mulifanya nini? Ama blinyeshewa. And I blame the wife. Kama bibi yake alimkubali back, Thank it's you. a problem. And that sets the trail. No, no, no. It's a third mm. scenario. School kwa nae ngini wawili. Bado wazes jimu moja al disapia Tanzania merudi. You say ni kusini strength. Women from muka ushago tafadhali. Mtu kama alikuwacha meaka 30 plus. A back here, you took when you're at the end. Yes, I see you put that pia. When you rush, when you roll, Safi, Una green and how am I? Okay, sour, to be honest, Quam for Siwa, yes, we can a Kazi mob. Lazima, car wife, Yaka, Umsame, to be honest, Sindio, six years. Are putting yourself in her position. <laughs> Not just say to her, 26 years after. What do you work here? Mm. How are option? Lazima okay, so, on the, when the story broke out, they didn't even talk about the wife. Um, they talked about where police will have. He forgot where he used to live. A kumbuki <laughs> home. Skia, so, police will have kwanza kutafuta. So, fa, uh, luckily enough for me to one of his friends, this is you. You are alive, yeah. <laughs> so, but we're not told whether the wife was actually involved or not. But, yeah, the, like, the villagers Kam were just shocked. Lazima alikuwa involved. Mm. Alitoka wapi? <laughs> Before ending your 26 years. See, I'll talk about wife. I'll talk about wife now, Toy. I could talk, I could talk about villagers. I'll talk about wife. So the wife is involved in one yeah. or another. That's why I did. You couldn't have been your Toy, wa, because Sindio. Yeah. Navi, okay, how, 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 how do you offend oh, villagers? But now, your family, yeah. Missy G, but they don't think I'm a fear too. Yeah. Kata Kumbuki place, I'll go and issue one thing. Kata Kumbuki at Toto. Okay, you're part of your Toto at Tuji, you're at a penguin, see, wa, okay. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, where's the Jua? Where's the Jua? I Nina, Tutakurusu, could you have a new moment conference? Tutakurusu. Yes, uh, as I was saying, your story, but they, you should actually be, be very careful. As, I understand, I understand where you're coming from, from this angle. But Pia, Mazekuna Demaneza Kuchocha, and you know. 
unaanza unajaribu kufikiria huyu mtu nikae naye another 26 years huyu siwezi mm-hmm. siwezi i just have to go ile unasemanga nitatoka ile siku hii pressure itaisha nitarudi for this guy it has taken 26 years you know amerudi yani huyu mama alimkoroga akili mpaka in such a way alisahau mpaka home alisahau hadi home hapana wewe unafikiria huyu akitoka 26 years alikuwa anaenda wapi bash alikuwa mehepa kwake yeah. alikuwa mehepa kwake ni zile stress amepitia wanaume wanajinyonga kwa kitu kwa kitu now just talk to us the hashtag is white people update yes we're going to go to the next story we're going to go to the next story Jesse and Dennis now a Kenyan man has gone viral for flaunting a tattoo of the late retired president <laughs> Daniel <laughs> the said Moi tattoo surfaced hours after the late president was laid to rest in Kabrak home on Wednesday, February 12th. The man whose identity is yet, yet to be disclosed got inked money like image bearing Moi's face and name and his title. Some social media rather users have praised him and others thought it was irrelevant and that he should have gotten the tattoo while Moi was still alive. Right. Deno, kuna mse uno uno ngela coin ya moi the the coin. So he got a a tattoo hiyo ya hiyo coin. Praise the first president of the Republic of Kenya. Wakati watu wanaogopa kupata mashilingi wewe unajiendea mashilingi. Sasa you know it's 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 okay. I don't know ngogopa mashilingi yale ni tatafutia tu. So you know it's 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 a good thing yeah. to honor someone. Yeah. But pia tukue logical. Umeka moi sijui wapi. You know, kwa mkono. Fimbo fimbo ilipeanwa kwa watoto wake. Mm-hmm. Bendera ilipeanwa kwa watoto wake. Wewe kitu ulifanya kubwa sana ni kukunywa maziwa ya nyanya. Hiyo tu. Mm-hmm. Na unashinda hapo umetuwekea tatu. Surely it's it makes make sense. Do but something he loves else. Do a memoir, do something, put it up in your house, do his f- uh, photo, but then anything that concerns your body is yes. going too far. Yes. Too That's far. too far according That's to Dennis. Nina, you agree? I beg to differ mm-hmm. a bit. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Because to be honest, you don't have to choose what I have to do with my body. Thank you. One thing. Sio ni yake. Eh bili ni yangu. Mwenye anaeka simba tattoo, ndio simba yonagi. Unajua na ziko nyingi. Eh. Kika iko hapa, iko na wanaeka na anguka. Eh, ina baba. Wewe kanga kanga. Nina speak. Aha. Let us oh, yes, then. Yeah. All right, Jesse. Junil. Junil. Now, uh, well, that man is irrelevant. I mean, the man with the tattoo. Why? Why after Moi is long gone? Mm-hmm. Kitambo, na ukwadi una jipusho social media. Itikuzi social media, una, you are famous within a day. Mm-hmm. So, well, people are funny out here because the other day I saw a lady with a SpongeBob tattoo up. I laughed my head off. <laughs> SpongeBob yana kwa mesima maivi. I have a SpongeBob hoodie and I don't even feel ashamed about that. The tattoo on the neck, a whole lady. It's okay. A whole lady. Hey, no. My friend. Ata simba kiwa mwanamke ni sawa bado na guruma. Aki niliona nilicheka by the so uyu I make sense why now after he's long gone. Yeah, do something constructive with your life young man. JC. Yeah. Was he right to do that? Yeah, it's the same way. Uh Nina choose kukuwa na nywele, ana choose kukosa kuwa na nywele, ana choose kukuwa na dreadlocks and he chooses to go bald. Mm-hmm. It's the same way. Mbona? <laughs> <laughs> I had to do that. Yeah. Yeah. Why is so <laughs> this is it. Then whatever you choose to do with your body, mm-hmm. yeah, on, a, on a light <laughs> note though. <laughs> so whatever you cho- check it, check it vile imeweza. Hata mu appreciate mwenye amechore hiyo tatu. Hiyo ni biashara huyo kijana alipata pesa, mm-hmm. eh? Like whatever he chose to do with it, mbona tuna tunamjudge? Wasiano wanaenda wanatatuiwa mpaka eyebrows. Mhm. Na tutazaeka eventually, si ndio? Wasiano wana go for microblading. Mbona tu w- why are you making uh, mbona tuna 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 build mountain for something yenye haiko? Okay. So, you say hata aongeze aongeze noti. It's an artificial eyebrow. Yeah. Artificial. Oh, ndio maana ananiangalia hivyo. Hata aende aongeze noti. Tumpe hizi noti zenye ziko. Aende aongeze. Eh. Now, hatuwe wako hapa. 
<laughs> Let's go to another story. Now, controversial, controversial Nairobi governor Mike Sonko is looking for a 76-year-old man who cycled more than 240 kilometers to, to attend the burial of the late retired President Daniel Arap Moy at Kabarak. Now, the governor has asked the public to help him, to help him rather, find the old man whose name is Mze Nathan Ambuti. Governor Sonko said he was touched by the story of the old man who cycled for four days to join Kenyans in bidding farewell to Mze Moy and he wanted his contact so that he could return him home easy. On Tuesday, Mze Ambuti made news after he was reportedly turned away upon reaching Mze Moy's gate. All right. We're going to start with you, Jesse. Comments mm. fupi fupi to Kiandanga. Uwe mtu ni mluya? Yes. Oh, na paisi. Yes. Na mluona vile liko imechochwa. Mlicheki, pale mpaka iko na mabari, hako anasikia upepo. Yeah. But then it was so bad. Aki way, aki I pitied him. Aki nilimhurumia tu. Yeah. Like, unajua. So, Sonko felt the same way. Eh, iyo age nini, it's good. But then, despite kila mse kukua na weaknesses zake, kuda kila mtu wako na strength zake. Sonko, kuna vila na guzango na wawasi wako, unajua? Mm. Wako low in the society, like, unajua? But it's okay, it's okay. Wase ni meona watu wana criticize, unasema mati sa hindi umefikiru neza msaidi. Ameche kizo story. Sijui sa hindi umefanya nini, sa hindi umemkumbuka. Mm -hmm. Angefanya. Haa kujua kwa akiwa kwake, ea na plan kusaikol mpaka yeah. kuko. <laughs> unajua? Sindio? Mbona? Yeah. Okay, it's okay. By the way, that man, Aki, guy, Hana watoto ange mlipia basi, afike ali. Unoto ange fika ali, ya? Mbuto na yunga libo. Ange ingia. Filina kini angalia na vaya nisike kucheka. Sindio? Si ange fika ali. We don't have time. Just sign up with your name. Just remind me of your social media. Yeah. Thank you so much. Esi, Milka, Aki, wamesema ni angdelea kuangalia denu vibaya. So... And then I'm going to be I'm Jesse Mugora on Facebook, Jacinta Mugora on Instagram, <laughs> and Mugora Mugora on Twitter. Thank you so much, guys, for staying there. And uh, till next time, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. June. <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. Now, well, it's very saddening. Is there such a word? For the guy to be rejected at the gate. Uh, I think <laughs> sometimes as humans, as much as uh, we are doing our jobs, eh? We need to also consider. Humanity. Yeah, so I'm going to go to the Mulango and i but it's good. Sonko has come out to assist. Uh, people are criticizing, yes, but Sonko has to say from Kitambo. Mm. So it's not about clout in this case. That's my personal opinion. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching us. John from Maua. Who else? Hey, what are you doing? Ken from Udhiru. Asante Nisana. Have a blessed night. See you next week. All right. Uh huh. Um, Nina. Yeah. Uh, Moi touched pe different people in different ways. So yeah. this man, for him to drive, oh, to cycle, <laughs> cycle all the <laughs> 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 kilometers, <laughs> zote, mm -hmm. honestly, and he's somehow, 76. Yeah, yeah. Some, somehow, Mungu wana efoti mm. Even though I may connect na Sonko. Sonko is someone, neza kusa kuona governance yake, but ni mtuwa watu. Unajua, mm. umtu usaidiana. So, sina much about it. You can find me on IG, Nina Christy. Christy is X S T Y. Yeah. All right. Mangis. You know, let me let me just try to make this straight. Eh? Mm. This guy, he does that. If you check with his even his bike, it's branded. That's his that is his way of life. Yeah. Riding. He just rode from Kakamega. That's how maybe he keeps fit. He, yes. Yeah. He rode from Kakamega all the way to Eldoret to to for the barrier. Oh. He was not invited, yes, but he came earlier. So yeah. the fact that he made news is because he wanted to access the venue earlier than anyone else because one, he didn't have a place to sleep and all the other things involved. Now, my problem is with Sonko, what he's trying to do. Sonko went for the barrio. The guy went there on Tuesday. The barrio all the way came to Wednesday. Alafu ndio, alafu wanakuja kueka post. I, I saw the post today. He didn't talk about it yesterday. He was there. He was there with him. He knew. He saw him on the news on Tuesday. He saw him on Wednesday. He waited until he came back. Today is when he's supposed to say, At home, nisaidia na nambayo wa mzee ni msaidia. Really, if you want to help, help when you're there. Tell us, nilisaidia wa mzee, asha arudi home. All right, so, yes. Thank you so much, guys. That's Dennis's take. I go by the name Dennis Bob Miner across all social media platforms. To one next week. All right, so thank you so much. A big shout out to Janet, Jasmine, Maureen, 
Oh, oh yeah, big shout out to Je Janet, Jasmine, and Maureen. A big shout out to all of you. And Iman Gems, he is yeah. always watching the show. A big shout out to all of you. And of course, everybody who made the show possible. We appreciate each and, each and every one of you. And of course, in that Valentine's mood, I wish you a happy Valentine's, Maze, in advance. And a very happy birthday to JC, because it's JC's birthday. Thank you so much. Now, make sure you tune in next Thursday and, of course, every Sunday. So entertainment news and we're gonna see you again next week with an even better show